Got to warm up my listening room here. And yes, this is my listening room. And yes, I have glass. But when I listen, these soft shades come down. And that sort of acts as my room treatment along with my couch and pillows and my big carpet here. Now I wanna share my reference system as of January, 2022. I'll go over each piece and why it's in this system. I also have some other pieces that I'm in the process of reviewing, but let's just start right here. This is now my reference DAC. Um, it's old, this was released or originally announced quite a few years ago but it's still um, world-class today. This is the Cord Dave DAC. It also has a headphone amplifier. It's a digital preamp as well if you want that. I use it as a DAC only. And basically I'm using the USB. I've tried it with coax. I've tried it with optical. I prefer the USB. I have an AudioQuest USB diamond that I've had for years. Cardis Clear Reflection XLRs go into out from this into the preamp. But the Cord Dave, I did a full written review on my website at stefafoto.com. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to read that review. This is a world-class DAC that specializes uh, in a two-channel system with speakers anyway, in 3D, in space, in detail, in body, in clarity. It's like an open window to the music and uh, this is by far the best DAC I've heard to date, though there is a DAC I'm currently reviewing, the Dana Fripps Terminator 2, that can compete with this for way less money. So I would actually recommend the Terminator 2 for a high-end DAC today over this core Dave, just because the Dave may be getting uh, ready to be replaced in the next year or two. I'm not certain, but it's about time. Even so, I feel this is such a great DAC. Um, once I heard it in this system, it had to stay. I still have the same Lumen U1 Mini streamer that I've had uh, for a while. I have no desire to replace this. I have tried more expensive streamers. I've tried less expensive streamers. This is a definite improvement over the Node 2i. Uh, just using it as a streamer only, as I was using the Blue Sound Node, the output of this goes to the input of the DAC. That's what the USB cable is for. The lumen is fed via ethernet from my router. And that is the digital um, heart of the system. This creates digital music that sounds analog, that sounds deep with texture and layers and detail and body. It's just magical. So that moves on to the preamp. So this preamp, I used to have the Pass Labs XP10. This is the XP12. Um, I also have the Pass Labs XP17 Phono preamp. It used to be the 15. Uh, these haven't been in that long, but compared to the 10, I'm working on my written review now, almost finished. The 12 brings more transparency, uh, more three-dimensionality, a bigger, more open, sound stage, a bigger window to the music. Um, it has the same house sound as the XP-10, but the XP-10 has a little more body and is a little more closed in. This is a little more open and a little bit more transparent. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful preamp. It's the starter preamp in the Past Labs line. Uh, this is the XP-12, then it goes XP-22 which adds the second body, which looks like this pretty much for the power supply. Then you have the XP32, which is a triple box. And then you go all the way up to the XS, which is a $38,000 preamp. So this is the starter one, but it's pure world-class. It doesn't mean uh, it's no good if it's a starter. This is this could be an end game preamp. Um, it's, it's a beautiful preamp. The Phono preamp compared to the XP15, the 17, added again the same thing that this did it's more open um, it's not as closed in it adds more life and transparency and three-dimensionality move over i still have the same turntable as last year the dr feichert valare which as i said then i'm not going to get rid of 
and I mean it. <laughs> this is a fabulous turntable. Uh, it leaves me for wanting, it leaves me wanting nothing. Uh, I have some super old album on here right now. I um, was listening to some mellow tunes over the New Year's holiday. Uh, we had a little New Year's Eve gathering and this was playing all night long uh, as well as some digital. So the Velare turntable, I think it just went up in price. I still have the Koetsu black cartridge on it. Stunning combo um, and the Pass Labs XP17 powers it. Move on to the Pass Labs XA60.8 mono blocks. There's one here and there's one over there. These are 60 watts per channel, pure class A going into the speakers. I love class A amplification. Yes, they run hot, which helps here in the winter time. Uh, they're not the cheapest in electricity costs, but if you turn them on standby, they barely use any power and they stay warmed up. Um, I just make sure that I do not leave them powered on all the time. If I did, my electric bill would probably go up by 50 bucks a month. So I make sure to turn them off, but the sound is just beautiful, holographic. It has scale, it's sweet, it's smooth, it's um, organic. I love these amplifiers. Now I'm using Cardis Clear Reflection cables, full loom going in. Uh, these are the speaker cables going into the Fleetwood Sound DeVille's um, favorite speakers I've ever owned in life. Um, they are bespoke quality, they're original. They look like none other. It's actually a horn loaded tweeter. This is all custom, um, torrified wood. I wrote my review at stefafoto.com. I have a video review here on YouTube of these really special speakers. What they excel in is a big, wide open, sound that is natural musical with body a little bit of warmth and humanity they're very special they do imaging they do sound stage they do everything you want them to do and fleetwood says these will be the last speakers you will ever need and truly for me they are they are wonderful so that is my full system as of 2022 um everything is locked in place as of here I can't guarantee there won't be changes going forward, but right now it sounds absolutely amazing. Over here, I'm working on a review for the Kinky Studio EX M1 integrated amp. This, my friends, is something that is very, very, very amazing for the $2,400 US dollar price tag. 215 watts per channel high quality parts this is 60 pounds it looks beautiful it has a nice big display uh, all metal remote the sound is dynamic it has muscle it has force it has energy it has impact uh, compared to the past labs this is more forceful a little more in my face but it's exciting with certain kinds of music it's not um, one of those gentle relaxed amplifiers it's a more forward energetic lively sound but for the money there's you can't find anything to beat this for the money as far as i'm concerned i have a a review coming i'm almost done with the written review and what do we have over here now here is the xp10 and the xp15 the older version past labs but down here is the Dana Fripps Terminator 2. I just took it out of the system today. This is Dana Fripps almost top end DAC. Um, this comes in at I think 4,600 or 4,800 US dollars. This is a world-class high-end DAC that 100% competes with the Dave, which is a $12,500 retail cost DAC. I bought mine as an open box. I got a deal on it. Um, but yeah, this is my system. This creates beautiful music in the room anytime I want to listen, which is all the time. And I sit here in my spot and I'll drink coffee. I'll write reviews. I'll read the news. Um, I'll just mellow out. I'll meditate. And of course, when I listen, all those blinds close and it sort of acts as a room treatment and everything else in here is made of wood. So Room sounds beautiful. This is a beautiful 
system. And I say reference because it's what I will use going forward to review um, other gear. So when a DAC comes in, I'll compare it. If a preamp comes in, I'll compare it to my reference. Uh, amplifiers, the same thing. Speakers, the same thing. These components synergize very well. It was created over the last, I'd say, eight months to be synergistic because synergy is key in hi-fi, period. If you don't have synergy between your gear, you're not going to have a good sounding system. But there it is. I wanted to share my uh, hi-fi system, my reference system as of 2022. I still have my Clips Heresies. I still have my La Scalas. I still have Forte 4s. I still have Dyne Audios. And those are all right now living in our guest house uh, as I'm trying to build little smaller systems around them because most of my money was spent here, as you can tell. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And I'll have reviews of the Terminator 2 DAC and the Kinky Studio integrated coming very, very soon this month, January. I'll see you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>